Let's switch this whole conversation to Trippy now. Because we were just talking about Uzi, how maybe it's not a good thing that he goes back to, or no, 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 sorry. Yeah, that it doesn't go back to his old style. And so now the spiky hair type shit for pink tape, he finally found like a brand that he can maneuver into and start evolving from instead of just coloring his hair, which he's already colored it every single color in the rainbow. But I guess same thing with Trippy Red. So he posted on Instagram, let's check this out. He said, I need beats like fuck love, are actually I think it I think it's the most streamed like hip hop song on SoundCloud ever. Not song anymore because BTS took that over, but they got the whole country of fucking South Korea that's riding for them. So you can't beat a country. Come on, uh, wish, taking a walk, etc. Those are three really big old songs from Life's a Trip as well as X's album. Um, but it was Trippy's song originally, Fuck Love. But Taking a Walk was a banger too. So that's more like chill, oozy. Uh, what kind of beats were those? People were telling me it's like Pierre, old type beat, not Rage. Said, please tag producers you want to see work with me. Love and pain beats, sad shit only. Hopefully, and I understand that we were just talking about how sometimes you can't go back to the old you, but I do want to see if Trippy can go back to it i'm not saying he needs to sound exactly like that but he kind of we, we discuss this all the time he kind of went away from the the almost more rock type vocals with the screeching shit to more smooth singing which is more poppy it makes sense and you know you gotta conform to the mainstream but back when Trippy was like goaded for me, as you guys already know, was the old sound. And Fuck Love, with its success, maybe that was due to X though, because X was like doing numbers and he did release it and like distribute it himself or with his label that is, I mean, and he promoted it, I mean, um, that you would think that going back to that old sound, since it was so successful, that it's a good idea tell chat to stop arguing nah this is what the chat needs to do we need to find out what is the answer trippy on punk hard beats would be fire i feel like he's done that before with like uh let's see dark knight dumbo is kind of that direction but it's still kind of mainstream that was like early that was like pre-rage kind of rage it was like a travis scott beat so um need trippy on plug and b or the thing about plug and b is that it's not gonna go mainstream it's been around for a while and it hasn't hit mainstream yet i just don't think like rage did with like yachty drake Uzi was low key on Rage Beats before we even knew it, to be honest. Um, Pierre, Cardi, like that went mainstream already, but Plug and B, like it would have already popped off if it was going to. So, again, with Trippy, I'm kind of hyped for this. I think that the reason that he's doing this, because if you recall, so Trippy been working on a love letter to you five for a bit but there hasn't really been that much hype for it like look at this so i posted as i normally do trippy red posting a love letter to you five there's a there's a single dropping next month usually trippy like trip at night that was like one of the biggest albums for the bob gang you know what i'm saying because mr rage was on that album and it was rage and that was that was in the peak that was the prime of rage beats before they got stale as fuck of a box of wheaties now, look at this. So the engagement on this, 1,100 likes. It's not terrible, but like, I'm pretty sure, like even Autumn's track list for Antagonist is getting more than that. Whereas Yeet and Uzi, you know, it's two, two. You see what I'm saying? So I just don't think people were really hyped for a love letter to you five. So now he's like going back to the drawing board. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna try and give people what they want which is the old sound because after all it is a love letter to you five 
so it is a it's like a flagship series of an album it would make sense to go back to the old sound on like where he began which was a love letter to you with love scars etc my favorite a love letter to you too i'm more hyped i think uzi and trippy are making good moves with their albums they're trying to see what the fans are thinking about it and regrouping. You shouldn't just drop an album not seeing what the fans are thinking like Roddy Rich, because then you're going to flop like shit. And that's the worst thing that could happen, especially with Trippy Red just signing like a, what, $30 million deal? If he signs for 30 mil for three albums and one of them flops, like the first one out of that deal, you're fucked. Cause then you're gonna be in a slave contract and they're gonna be like, you know what? Maybe like we'll just have to executive produce or approve some of the songs before they drop. But if you if you hot, they'll let you drop whatever you want, kind of like young boy. Like bro can drop on YouTube like every I don't know, couple of days because they know every single song's gonna go off numbers. I was talking to Patrick CC today. Uh, we were talking about how labels do not give a fuck about what anything sounds like. It's just how much money is coming in. So, with that being said, if the fans don't necessarily like it or are not hyped for a love letter to you five, and they're not listening to it, that means less money, and then they're gonna start asking questions. They're gonna be pulling up that fucking contract like, yo, buddy, you're gonna have to recoup this 30 mil. We're gonna have to maybe drop like three mixtapes before your next project, your next album. And then that, that's how artists get fucked over. The music industry is all about money. Uh, music industry, not music business. That's what it's called. And that's why when like Sofago's producer or like engineer or something was posted on TikTok. Top. I think it was in response to me, even though I never said Sofego fell off. He's like responding, saying like, why the fuck y'all saying that? And I didn't say that either. But my perspective is like, yes, the art is important, but at the same time, the analytics behind it and the numbers are too. Because then say you create something that you think is perfect art wise, but it just doesn't do well then you're not gonna get the budget from the label, the next album, to make whatever art it is. So you gotta sell your soul just a little bit, just to get the money in, and then maybe on a couple songs, you can like go all out and make as much art as you want. But that's why they got singles, and that's why they get features, so that they can like, you know, make little TikTok songs. And TikTok songs are low key selling your soul, let's be real. He knows his old sound got him the most popular and most money to pay off his 30 mil. Let's actually check that. You could be right. Let's see what his most popular songs are just like total wise, not necessarily just like trajectory. And oh Lord. So the top song on there is actually um, Mr. Rage, but that's again, not total. That's Mr. Rage is doing good though, what? 262 mil and it dropped way after taking a walk but granted trippy red is a way bigger artist plus it had playboy cardi on it and you know how playboy cardi fans be repping for him but we got taking a walk 375 mil 1400 999 350 mil so, so those are the two tops so far love scars one of my all-time favorite songs 313 mil where's fuck love i feel like that should be on top of here Unless he's not credited on Spotify for that song, but I feel like he is. Um, Love Scars, Dark Knight Demo was also on Life's a Trip. So Life's a Trip, he's trying to go back to this. Why do I not have that liked? Unless it was a single. Um. Yeah. So I think, I think that's it. How many streams does Fuck Love have? Right here. 1.1 billion so no wonder bro wants to go back to that sound 1.1 billion that's like an exo tour like plus they probably made so much money on the soundcloud even though soundcloud doesn't pay out as much like cost per view or whatever cpm um but yeah so even miss the rage though that shit is doing really well but in rich motherfucker i feel like 
it had like goats on there streaming wise like the whole all of the streets listen to polo g and lil dirk so that was just bound to do well also it was a solid song i'm not gonna lie grinch is doing well too that's kind of like rage ish before rage was a thing um what else life's a trip what other songs are on here missing my idols three shake it up that was a good song again still my favorite is a love letter to you too it doesn't even look like it's his most popular y'all be hating like shit why give me a love letter to you too everyone hated exclamation mark <laughs> life's a trip too this shit was crazy whoa 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 bust down in too deep overweight mm. not a single pegasus song on his top 10 is that true let me look or exclamation mark i guess too right let me look no yeah no pegasus no exclamation mark we got a love letter to you one we got we got no love letter to you too y'all be hating bro i feel like that was the prime trippy we got three we got some four uh and then no five but that's because it's not out yet and we got trip at night we got life's a trip so it's pretty versatile honestly trippy been killing it a mix of old and new songs are doing well three was also good but again, just my favorite. Actually, let's check out the Love Letter to You 3. Love Letter to You 3, where you at, boy? What songs are on here? See, I just thought that this had like a lot of fluff to me. Like, I don't know. The only memorable song that like I, at least that I can remember off the top of my head right now was 1400999. But I could have just, I don't know. I could be an old head. I just feel like two had a lot less or i mean a lot more bangers even even life's okay life's a trip might be his best album like objectively so maybe that's why he's trying to go back to that like bird shit bang this was like more chill like i felt like i was on shrooms i guess that makes sense because it's called life's a trip that would make sense <laughs>